Hi, welcome to Just Kidding Around, an all-kids special edition of Missouri Outdoors. Today, we're going to explore something very exciting, an Ozark stream from under the surface. <laughs> Fish rolling rocks, clams fishing with lures, and turtles like you've never seen turtles before. It's all coming up as we take the plunge into Swan Creek with noted underwater photographer Will Ralston. There's an incredible amount of life in an Ozark stream, and most of the activity is going on right down there, under the surface, hidden from our view. But all it takes is a mask, a snorkel, and the willingness to get wet, and a whole new world comes to view. You've heard of bird watching. Well, we're about to go fish watching with underwater photographer Dr. Bill Roston. Take off your mask, okay? To start out with, to get a mask that fits, you should be able to take your mask, do not put the strap on it, stick it to your face, and inhale through your nose. Before we take the plunge, we need to go over some snorkeling basics. Can all of you do that? Can you all suck it against your face without air coming through it? Fit your strap up on top of your head so it's comfortable. Let's check and make sure we don't have any leakages before we get out there, okay? As soon as I got my face under the water, I realized just how different this adventure was going to be. Just a bit of glass in front of my face put everything into focus. From the surface, a body of water looks like a mirror, hiding the world below. As soon as I went below with a mask, I became a part of the underwater environment. But in order to stay there, I was going to have to master the snorkel. And that was a little tricky at first. I saved a little bit of air in my mask so I could puff and blow the water out of my snorkel. That way I can keep looking at this thing that I'm looking at, okay? I think probably what you need to do is uh, practice a few more puffs and clearing your snorkel. Clear your snorkel. Snorkel around the periphery or the edge of this pool and in the shallower area until everybody gets accustomed to it. And then we'll see what we can do to find some critters. When you put that mask and snorkel on and actually look, it's teeming with life, you know. There are a lot of species of uh, fish along with all the turtles and insect larvae and mollusks and stuff like that that are interesting. You just have to get in and uh, look at things. If you have a desire to learn, then it's fun. Okay, let's go take a look and see what we can find here in this hole, okay? I couldn't believe all the life under the surface. Fish, turtles, clams, and a whole lot of stuff I've never seen before. It's different than looking into an aquarium. You're in with the wildlife, living in their world. We all had our share of adventure. I found a turtle! It was fun because we got to see a lot of things underwater. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got to see some crawfish and some turtles. I got to see some clams. I think it was fun because we just swim around and swimming is usually fun, especially when there's wildlife all around you. I saw some pretty big fish, some small fish, and a couple of sucker fish. It, it was a pretty wild world of fish down there. With his years of experience under the water, Dr. Rostin was able to point out some things we might have missed. There's a mayfly larva on that rock, and I was uh, in this stream uh, last spring. I was photographing at night, and uh, there was a hatch, a mayfly hatch started, and there was literally thousands of these things that come, were coming out of the water. They were all white. It looked like snow in reverse. We have that one fish here uh, called the log perch. It's in the darter family, and it'll come into a gravelly bottom like this and start turning over the rocks. It turned over the rocks with its nose. And those insect larvae that are under the rocks uh, sometimes uh, lose their lives that way because that fish has enough intelligence to know that uh, its food is under the rocks. That's the log perch. 
We've seen some pretty wild stuff down here. But now here's the challenge. I want a picture to take home. Let's talk to Dr. Rostin to see how he does it. I started seeing all this uh, stuff underwater that was kind of neat. And uh, I had somebody tell me, oh, there's nothing in freshwater that you can photograph. So to take up the challenge, I went out and got me an underwater camera. And it's always interesting. Since I'm in freshwater, it's a frontier. Nobody else is doing this. That's what's really intriguing to me, to be able to do something in this world that 20 million other people hadn't done before. Dr. Rostin's photographs capture the hidden excitement and drama of the underwater world. By concentrating his efforts exclusively on lakes and rivers instead of the ocean, he's exploring uncharted terrain. Most of the pictures that you take in freshwater are, you're dealing with uh, six foot of visibility or less, so you have to do all your work close up. And that's part of the challenge, to be able to get the fish or whatever you're photographing underwater close to the lands. But how does he get the fish to come to him? I feed them a lot, you know. You can take something in the water and feed them. Also, you can get close to them at night if you take a flashlight in the water at night, and you can get right on top of them. If you're really gonna get the professional equipment, it is expensive, but if you're just gonna take snapshots, you can buy a very inexpensive uh, camera. For less than $15, that will take underwater photos. Now, when you're underwater, number one, there's, there's not much noise and commotion. You, there's no telephone, and it's uh, peace and quiet, it's tranquil so much of a different type of environment than what the service is and when they say well you go underwater it's an all-new world it really is the thing that has really kept me going and going back to it time after time is the uh, photography because every time you go in the water and you shoot a roll of film there's always something different that's what keeps me coming back An adventure. I never knew how much was going on right underneath the surface. I'll never look at another stream the same way again. There's a whole world waiting to be explored. So get out and experience Missouri outdoors. <laughs>